Hey Jack and Nation, welcome to this week's edition of This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. I'm your host, Nolan Alexander. Be sure to join us each Monday and Thursday as we give you the rundown on all Georgia Tech sports, all in five minutes or less. What a weekend it was for athletics at the Institute. Starting off with baseball, the Yellow Jackets continue their winning streak, which now sits at 16 games with a weekend sweep of the Miami Hurricanes on the road. The three victories were historic due to the fact that it was the first time the Jackets have swept Miami since 1967. In Game 1 on Friday, the Jackets raced out to an 8-3 victory. Mark Pope saw a streak of 36 and two-thirds innings of not allowing an earned run finally come to an end when he allowed two runs on seven hits and seven innings pitched. Pope picked up the win and Matt Skull went 3-5 for five to, at the plate to lead the Jackets. On Saturday, it was a tie game that went into extra innings. With the score tied at 3 after Devin Stanton's strikeout of Hurricane Chance Mack with a runner on third in the bottom of the ninth, the Raymond Wreck exploded for 9 runs with home runs from Evan Martin and Mott High to jump out to a 12-3 win in 10 innings. On Sunday, Tech looked for a sweep and received an excellent performance on the hill from Buck Farmer, who went 8 innings without allowing a run and received just one run of support in offense until the ninth inning. Jacob Esch and Matt Skull led off the ninth with back-to-back -back doubles, and then Zane Evans executed a perfect squeeze play to bring home Skull from third later on in the ninth as Tech hung onto the lead and prevailed over Miami by a score of 3-1. Tech will look to extend their 16-game win streak this Tuesday when Mercer visits the Rusty Sea for a 6 p.m. game. Georgia Tech softball had a great showing this weekend as the ladies swept the visiting Wolfpack of NC State by winning their 18th straight ACC series, a conference record. The Yellow Jackets opened ACC play with a 5-4 comeback victory on a Christine Preby suicide squeeze bunt in the seventh inning. Game two between the Pack and the Jackets only lasted five innings when it was postponed due to rain and NC State leading 2-0. With the partial doubleheader played Sunday, the bats awoke for Tech as the ladies rallied for an 8-4 victory. The Jackets then breezed through game three with a 14-0 shutout. Alicia Rudnick had two home runs on the afternoon, including a grand slam to cap a 3-for-6 day. Shannon Bear and Hope Rush each belted two run shots in the game as the Jackets moved to 28-5 on the year. So far, softball has won 21 over the past 22 games, and up next for the ladies, they'll head to Athens for a 6-30 tilt with Georgia on Wednesday night. Men's tennis completed a fabulous weekend by topping the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest 6-1. The Ramblin' Wreck improved to 3-1 on the season with five victories and singles play in a point and doubles with wins by Elliot Pothin and Ryan Smith in number two doubles, and Guillermo Gomez and Dean O'Brien winning the third set of doubles play. The win was preceded by a Friday shutout of NC State when the Jackets ran away to a 7-0 blowout. Juan Spear, Elliot Potvin, Kevin King, Guillermo Gomez, Martin Ortega, and Dean O'Brien matched the warm weather with a hot start in singles play by winning all of their matches. By notching a victory in doubles match, the Jackets continue their excellent play at home. The Ramblin' Wreck will head to the Palmetto State for a 2-30 match against the Clemson Tigers this Wednesday. The dominance continued with the women's tennis team racking up three victories over the weekend. On Thursday, the ladies welcomed Notre Dame to the Bill Moore Tennis Center and defeated the Fighting Irish by a score of 5-2. The then 20th ranked Jackets saw singles wins from Jillian O'Neill, Viet Ha Ngo, Caroline Lilly, and Elizabeth Kilborn. After losing the first match of doubles play, the Jackets rallied back for victories in the next two. After the finale of the match, the ladies headed up the highway to North Carolina for tilts with NC State and Wake Forest. Against the Wolfpack of NC State, the ladies pulled out a tough 4-3 win. After posting wins in the first two matches of doubles play, numbers 1, 3, and 6 singles put together victories to prevail by one point in Raleigh. Sunday was an easier day for the Jackets as they bypassed Wake Forest 6-1. The only losses of the day came at number one doubles and singles for Tech as the ladies won their fourth straight match. Track and field is back in action this weekend by posting three victories to the Yellow Jacket Invitational. Shortened by rain, Tech finished with 14 top three marks at George C. Griffin Track. DJ McMillan raced down to a first place finish in the 5,000 meter run and was joined in first place by Sean Roberts in the 800 meter. In the 1,500 meter run, Tech took top three spots with Mark Mendrick Lasky, Al Clifford, and Eric Powers finishing one, two, and three respectfully. The wreck will roll to Auburn this weekend for the Tiger Track Classic taking place on Saturday and Sunday. A quick shout out to Brandon Mackinson of the swimming and diving team who took 25th place in the three meter dive of the NCAA Championships this past weekend at the University of Minnesota. Congrats to our Student Athletes of the Week, Matt Skoll of the baseball team, and Kristen Atkins of softball. That's all the good news we have for you today, but join us again on Thursday for another installment of This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. Remember to visit www.ramblinrec.com for event and ticket information for all Georgia Tech sports. Until next time, I'm your host, Nolan Alexander, saying Go Jackets!